Question, comment on the poetic technique of Sylvia Plath. Sylvia Plath, a renowned poet of the 20th century, employed various poetic techniques to express her deeply personal and emotional experiences. Here are key points about her poetic technique explained in easy language. 1. Morning Song Vivid Imagery Plath's use of vivid imagery in morning song allows readers to vividly imagine the experience of a new mother. For instance, she describes the baby's cry as a new statue in a drafty museum. This image conveys the sense of wonder and fragility associated with a newborn. Plath also compares the baby's mouth to something delicate, stating it is delicate as the skin over a girl's wrist. This image emphasizes the tenderness and vulnerability of the child. Metaphor In Morning Song, Plath employs metaphors to express the complexity of her emotions as a mother. She compares the baby's cry to a new statue, suggesting that it is a significant and unique sound. This metaphor emphasizes the awe-inspiring nature of the child's arrival and the sense of artistry associated with the act of creation. 2. Words Allusion In words, Plath makes an allusion to the biblical story of Adam and Eve. She refers to words as little air balloon of dreams and states that words are the idols you deserve. By alluding to the story of Adam and Eve, Plath adds layers of meaning to her exploration of language and its power. The reference to idols also suggests the worship or reliance on words as a means of expression and understanding. 3. The Rival Repetition Plath employs repetition in the rival to intensify the speaker's emotions of insecurity and jealousy. For example, she repeats the phrase I am inhabited by a cry several times throughout the poem. This repetition emphasizes the persistent presence of the baby and the profound impact it has on the speaker's emotional state. The repetition creates a sense of urgency and amplifies the speaker's conflicted feelings. 4. Crossing the Water Symbolism Crossing the water is rich in symbolism, particularly the use of water as a symbol of change, transition, and possibility. Plath writes, Black Lake black boat, to black, cut paper people, using the imagery of a lake and a boat to represent a journey. The black color adds a sense of mystery and transformation. The cut paper people further symbolize a state of fragility or transient existence. This symbolism reflects Plath's longing for liberation, escape, and the pursuit of new experiences. Sound Devices Plath skillfully employs sound devices in crossing the water to enhance the musicality of her poetry. For example, the line Black Lake, Black Boat utilizes alliteration, repeating the B sound. This creates a rhythmic and melodic effect, enhancing the poem's flow and musical quality. Plath's deliberate use of sound devices adds a lyrical and captivating element to her work. Overall, Sylvia Plath's poetic technique is characterized by her skillful use of vivid imagery, metaphors, allusions, repetition, symbolism, and sound devices. Through these techniques, she conveys her personal experiences, emotions, and reflections, inviting readers to delve into her inner world and explore universal themes of identity, love, loss, and the human condition.